My name is Arnaldo Offerman with Master School Dances. And today, I believe I can Wi Fly. And so can you. Dude, side not like the coolest thing. Like, I just made that up right on the spot. So I was scared. That's how I roll. Okay, so let's talk about the Wi Fi RGB W8C. Say that three times fast. As you know, um, there used to be, you know, the non Wi Fi version of this board, which basically allowed you to control your LED fixtures with ease. Well, this is very similar to that model, except that it's got the Wi Fi antenna, as seen right here. So, uh, first, let's go over a few different things, and then we'll go over the feature set, and then we'll talk about how we're going to use this or how I'm gonna use this. I say we, cause sometimes I feel schizophrenic. First, let's talk construction. Just like any traditional uh, DMX board that American DJ or you know their sister company, Elation, have put out, it's all metal, well built. As you know, in the front or in the back, you have your DMX side, you've got your power in. Here's the power, okay. And on the other side, you have your Wi-Fi switch. When the Wi-Fi switch goes on, your DMX out is disabled and vice versa. You also have your dip switches so you can set your Wi-Fi channel. One of the advantages of Wi-Fi, at least in my experience so far, is that it connects instantly. Love it. Okay. This tiny little switch right here changes the year. And when you push this button, we time travel. Actually, this switch right here is for your sound sensitivity. So super easy there. Of course, it is rack mountable there. So if you got like a little small box that you can, you know, that you have, you can easily rack mount it. So you can put this with a little search protector and have a quick, easy, ready to go DMX solution out of the box. So what is what exactly is this? Well, is an LED? It's an LED controller, but you can control more than just LED lights. For example, you'll notice that this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fixtures. It controls up to eight fixtures, right? but each fixture has eight channels. Therefore, this is technically a 64 channel controller. That means that, you know, you could actually control your, you know, let's say lighting on your flood lighting on channels one or fixtures one and two, and then maybe on three and four, you have like a basic laser or something in there, right? You can control that. Me personally, I'm gonna use this mostly for flood, so it's, you know, easy for me to keep track because if I wanna do a easy wedding setup, I can combine this with another light with a remote control. But more on that later. Okay, so here's what happens. You've got quite a few buttons. Of course, you've got your fixtures button. You have your RGB fade, and of course, as you press that, it goes through different RGB fades. You have your auto, which is an auto show, pretty simple. Color macros, which you can select these easy little colors here to select the color right away, or you can select from various color macros this way. Um, and then, of course, the second one here, when you do color macros, allows you to change this, uh, fade speed not how fast it fades in general but how quickly it reacts if that makes sense so let's say we go from red and then we click orange instead of doing it simultaneously it'll slowly fade okay uh, then of course chases and then this one controls your speed that controls your fades this controls your dimmer uh, your sound obviously again sound is pretty obvious what it does and again the fade does affect that too a little bit Manual RGBW basically allows this to control red, green, blue, and white, or amber, and of course, blackout. Your channel bank allows this allows you to use this as a traditional DMX board. When you're using your floods with it, this is not just you know Wi-Fi floods only. You can, for example, hardwire any one, uh, any three or four channel flood, and we'll go over that in just a second, directly to the DMX app. Or if you have a Wi-Fi transceiver, you can connect this to the Wi-Fi transceiver and then that to a chain of lights. So again, it controls a three or four channel light. Now most of your American DJ lights, if you use them, you know that you can change the channel modes on them. Like for example, you may have a light that you know that you can choose three, one, two, three, seven channel mode. So you'll wanna do three channels, which on an RGB fixture is usually red, green, and blue. On a four channel RGBW or RGBA fixture, it is red, green, blue, and white or amber. On an RGB fixture, four channels is usually red, green, blue, and then dimmer. Now, of course, when you're doing your chases and all that, one of these channels is already a dimmer anyway, so you don't need that. So I usually recommend just keeping it on three channels if it's RGB or four channel if it's RGBW or A. The other four buttons here that are really cool are presets. Let's say you come up with, you know, you're doing a wedding and you have the perfect purple. So you just set, set it right there. You hold down preset one, 
you see it all blink and then it remembers that. So no matter what you do afterwards, you click a button, you go to preset one, it automatically goes to that setting that you save. So consider these macro buttons. I would love a board like full of nothing but macro buttons because for something simple like this, it's, it's perfect. But three of them is perfect for most weddings because you have wedding colors. You could have an all white for when you need that kind of stuff. And then, you know, party, like a party strobe or something. And then of course, blackout, which is important. So how do you use something like this? You know, if I'm doing a big wedding with tons of, you know, lights and such like that, I would most certainly bring out our CompuShow rig. You know, I want to have full control of the lights. But if I'm doing one of my easy wedding setups, and a lot of you have seen where I take two lights, mount them on top of the speakers, either the Bose or the RCFs, and I can control them with the remote control. Great, you know, coverage. It's, you know, especially with the LSF filters, and it does everything that I need versus having, you know, lights on a different, you know, tripod or the LBAT. This gives me a little bit even more control because now I can wirelessly run the lights on top of the speakers, set the uh, macros and all that, whatever I want to do. And then let's say I'm using another uh, light, maybe the um, event bar or maybe the quad phases if it's a you know, Sweet 16 or a small grad party, you know, a small teen event like that, I can use the remote control. So now I have the little remote control and I have this and I can control my entire light show without having to whip out my huge DMX console or bringing out a second person. Okay, so one of the really cool, exciting features that, you know, it's already came out is they have the Q-Series, I call them the Q-Series, it's the big metal pars, you know, I have the QWH5s, but they have them now where they're battery powered and they're Wi-Fi compatible. And they're still very lightweight. So this means that I could literally take one of those, you know, on each one, put them on top of the speaker, put an LSF filter on top. Two of them will easily flood a dance floor of an average wedding that requires basic lighting. And I have a light show that I set up in five seconds. Just literally one, slide on top of the speaker. Two, slide on top of the speaker. Set this up, plug in, done. Super easy. If you have, you know, if you don't have bows where you can just slide it on top with a system like what I have and you have RCFs or you screw it on top. Okay, so it takes 10, 15 seconds to screw it in. Big deal. Point being is you get an effective light show. It's clean. You don't have to have any extra tripods and all that. So, I mean, this is great. And I mean, it's it's built pretty well. I've been very happy with it. I did notice also in the back, look at that little bonus. It's got a uh, little hanging uh, brackets, I guess. So if, for example, maybe you have a table, like a little fold up podium like I have, I guess I can make little brackets so I can hang this on top. I may have to try that out. So keep an eye on the videos because I'll be posting that up soon on my Easy Light Show series. But either way, this is the Wi-Fi RGB w 8 c My name's Arnaldo Wofferman with Master School Dances. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe, like, share with your friends. Spread the Kool-Aid. Good night. God bless.